Hey, um, so I'm here with Lisa Haynes and my friend Benjamin Pickering. Lisa, um, I've been knowing you longer than I know Ben, but one thing I know that we all have in common is that we are all victims of police brutality. And I was just wondering, could you um, maybe find a way to just have a little back and forth, maybe like a little kind of interview and, and share the commonalities of your stories? Uh, yes. Uh, would you like to sh Would you like to hear my first uh, contact with my first uh, police brutality incident? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was coming from the Expo Center with my son. We were on the yellow line coming from the Expo Center, and uh, we got to the Rose Quarter Transit Station to transfer to like the blue line or red line uh, headed northbound, or northeast bound to 82nd. But we didn't make it that far. Uh, there happened to be um, a drunk person on the max, intoxicated, and he had two female uh, companions with him. And he kept falling back on me twice. He did not say sorry, excuse me. He was just up talking to them and harassing them. And, and uh, so my son said, hey, you, you know, that's my mom. You keep falling back on, you know, like that. You know? And uh, he, he said, option? no, he was just, just a, uh, just a uh, drunk person. Yeah. And so I was just very emotional. I didn't know what to do. I just I was 
so I can't believe everybody was, you know, on their side. Yeah. And we were the victims. Right. You know, and they called the cops on us, you know, and being rude to us and racial slurs and things like that. So That's incredible. And this is uh, like in the recent last few years? This happened in 2011. See, I feel like Portland, Oregon never had a real civil rights movement like we did back east. We, the, the civil rights, the, the sit-ins at the Woolworths counters and the uprisings and the, the National Guard escort, the desegregation, Martin Luther King. like, And so I come out here and I'm like, we need actually a real movement, inspirational heroes and leaders who will organize the people to recognize that neo-Nazis in the police force are not appropriate, that racial harassment on the train is a hate crime. My son had been, he had said, he said, he said, um, he said, um, we don't hang from trees anymore. That's what oh. he said. Oh. He said, we don't hang from trees anymore. This is America. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think sometimes it's w people who have the courage to live out in this no man's land called Portland, Oregon. We're here to advance the cause of greater democracy and civilization. And these very problems are a part of why we stay because we know these things are important and we know a better way. And we know that if we don't hold the candle, no one is. Yeah. So it takes one candle, one flame, you know, to start a whole. Fire, you know, to brush fire, just one little flame, you know, to make a difference. It takes one person to make a whole difference, to start a, a whole change of, of positivity, of awareness, of, uh, uh, how do you say, a vindication. Yeah. Uh, this injustice, you know, because God is made of love. God is made of love. He made each and every one of us, you know, that says a lot about who we are. You know, we can just come together as, 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 as a people. Yeah. You know, not with, not with the color barrier, you know, that's, yeah. that's played out. Yeah. That's played out. Yeah. So, um, the people are crying out. It's time for healing. Yeah. It's no more time for pain. It's no more time for sorrow. It's no time for pity. Yeah. It's time to rise up, people. So tell me. Rise up. Rise, rise up, Oregon. Rise up, Oregon is my nonprofit organization that I'm building here in Portland, Oregon. Uh, please support me. Uh, I'm making a difference here in Portland, and this is going national. So um, Rise Up Oregon has got a lot of visionary range of. Like, what? What is? Can, I'm sorry. Tell me what it's going to be, or what's your vision? Um, our vision statement is one that of unity of what everyone combined together as a whole here in Portland, grassroots, yeah, uh, top watch, yeah, um, good in the hood, uh, United Way. Those uh, grassroots uh, organizations, yeah. uh, uh, organizations out here in Portland, Oregon, uh, started you know, out here years ago. Uh, Sisters of the Road, uh, countless yeah. nonprofit organizations. Uh, I'm going to be working with uh, all of them. And uh, what makes mine unique is the homeless will have a home. The homeless will never be homeless ever again. They do, they are they are counted. You know, they're the houseless, not the homeless. They're the houseless, and they have rights too. They have rights to have everything, qualities of life, just like we do. You know, and uh, me, but, uh, right before my hearing review on uh, my police brutality case. I went out and uh, distributed with my son. Yeah. Um, Felix, the very beautiful. We went out and uh, gave homeless co coats to the home. To yeah. The homeless, you know? Yeah. And there was this young man 
uh, that didn't have a coat. And he was so happy, just like a little kid, just to get a coat. Yeah. You know, and he just like skipped across, the, you know, the parking lot. And I told him, I said, I said, uh, I will be back. I won't forget you. I said, yeah. I'm gonna make sure that you have a roof over your head, that you get catered to, just like everyone else in America is catered to. Just because you don't have a job or or you might have a disability, you know, you're not gonna be counted out. You're amazing, Lisa Haynes. You're amazing. I'm so proud of you and all you've done with the, the legislature. You went to Salem and spoke and you've done your hearing. You've reopened the investigation and Maxine Berenstein, my favorite, yeah. the Oregonian, has given you coverage, publicity. How does it feel? The, the fight has just begun. It feels good because I made a difference. I made my mark here in Portland. I'm not from Portland. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, I've been here for four years. I found my son after 20 years, uh, and my daughter and my other two children. I have, I'm a mother of four, and um, I just want to let everyone know that the justice will be served here in Portland, Oregon. Woo! Thank you, Lisa. <laughs>